Okay, so like I said, we're going to be making some sound, so uh, let's just start with that. Like MIDI, I'm using some MIDI files to make some stuff. So I'm going to be using uh, the session, not the session view, the live view. Just so I have a better understanding of what I'm doing. I've got, okay. Yes. Let's just see what this MIDI is. Okay, like I like this. I actually love this. Okay, so we're gonna be making. Uh, we're gonna be using this one. So, okay, I'm going to use wavetable synth because I just know it well, well enough to do some stuff with it. So we're gonna be using this. And before starting, I already use uh, my both racks. Uh, this this space rack. Uh, it's basically a delay and a pro reverb rack. I like to keep those in hand just so I know what I'm doing. Just so I have some, not what I'm doing, but also I have some reverb and I have control over the reverb as well. Okay, I'm gonna map that and I'm gonna map that as well and rename that as delay. And uh, the delay actually goes pretty wet, so I'm gonna just peel it back up around 67 is good. gonna put the melody in October. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. Okay. So now what I can do is okay. and I'm also gonna make an automation for uh, the app today was like the re re release was a bit too much so I think I... and if you noticed that that I'm making the app first like I'm I'm doing the envelope first just because I know that what kind of sound I want from this like what kind of sound I'm going for and I'm also gonna make a pitch pitch shift I mean a vibrato thing so I'm already gonna put 0.5 and I'm 
also gonna put that on this and this and rename that with Prado. And now, uh, now comes the fun part. I wanted to use some FM synthesis with this, so we're gonna make some FM with that. I like this from the moment I made it. I loved it. So we're gonna we're gonna be making we're gonna be automating this. So just watch. This is this this is where it gets more interesting. And uh, what all what we have to do now is map that and uh, open the MIDI map, MIDI map, and this one, oscillator one, effect two, and we're gonna put the max at twenty, just so we have some time. To talk about. And we're gonna put the minimum. We're gonna put the minimum. Uh, a little more than zero yeah that's good that is good that is good uh, and keep in mind we haven't even uh, started the processing yet we're just doing the scent we're just on the scent so it, it's gonna take some time but it already sounds good I'm also going to add this to the tomber as well and I'm going to max that out and we can see what Oscill oscillator one weight pos position oh yeah I, I like it I like it a lot and I'm going to add a multi-band multi -band dynamic Okay, so what I did was just compress compressed the mids just so I have some I have some less EQing to do in the further on. So uh, this is where it gets some kind of technical, but you don't you just have to hear it. Like this, you you. Uh, this is so low that you have so low that you actually have to hear the difference on headphones uh, unless you hear it on headphones you won't actually feel it as well so i hope you're listening on headphones Like this is where you can hear it. Okay, that sounds good, right?
Yeah, that sounds good. I, I know it sounds good. Okay, so one thing I actually also would like to do is just put in a layer, like a small layer. And I uh, use LFO2 to just pan it around, pan it around. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna match it to the BPM. See, now you can hear it. It just kind of gives it a little bit on top, like a little sizzle. That's good. Okay, so we did not use any unison as well. Yeah, it doesn't need unison. It kind of sounds good on its own. Also going to see some more MIDI files. Okay, so uh, I'm also going to try some uh, wave supply kits uh, because I know that they have some good uh, hip hop MIDI stems. So uh, I can know that this sound also work with, works with hip hops and, you know, different genres. And also change the tempo as well. I like that, you know, it, it works, it works. Okay, I'm just going to remove the bass notes from it. Okay, I'm, okay, at this point, I'm, I'm just no, I just know that this sounds good. So I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna color, uh, color it, and I'm gonna add some, like, I'm just gonna name it. Like, what should I name it? That's the main, like, thing. Okay, so I know it's a key, so uh, I have this organized thing where I know if it's a key, I just name it key. <laughs> okay, I know that sounds dumb, but. It helps. Key. What do you call it? Key. Break. No. Brown. That's good. Okay. 